So first question, do calories matter when it comes to healthy living and weight loss in particular? Yeah, of course. You know, the, the question about calories is like asking, you know, does putting fuel in the tank of your car matter? Um, and, you know, essentially the amount of combustible fuel you have is critically important to how far you can drive. So it's a measure of available energy. But now you quickly pivot to say, is it all that matters? Well, no. First, the quality of the fuel you put in the tank has major implications for whether it runs clean or dirty and how far the car can drive. And what about the fuel efficiency of the vehicle itself, right? So you can put the same amount of fuel in two different gas tanks and one car will go very far because it's a highly fuel efficient hybrid and the other will go almost nowhere because it's a gas guzzling Lamborghini. Well, our bodies are the same. So we're not all created equal. Some of us are highly fuel efficient and can go a very long way on very few calories. And if we eat more calories than that, whatever that is, we'll start to gain weight because we don't need the excess. And someone else will need many more calories just to maintain weight. So calories count in the exact same way that gallons of gasoline or liters of gasoline or pick any other fuel that's measured in any other volume count. It, clearly it counts. But the, what the, the silly distortion is the notion that we have to somehow choose between a measure of available energy and the quality of the source of that energy and the quality or the, the basic predispositions of the engine into which that fuel is being placed. And in this case, that's our bodies. Our bodies are highly variable. So the right number of calories for you or me or anybody else is the right number of calories for you or me or anybody else. It's not one size fits all. Then the question becomes practically, okay, calories count. Do I want to spend my life counting calories? Is that the best way to control my weight, my energy balance, my appetite? And my answer is a categorical no. I weigh just about what I weighed when I graduated high school. Uh, I'm going to be 58, uh, just around the corner. Uh, you know, and I'm, uh, I'm a guy with five grown children and a desk job. I do exercise routinely, but what I mostly do is I eat food, not too much, mostly plants and plant exclusive much of the time, but I, I eat high quality, minimally processed foods. And just quickly to refer back to an earlier segment of this conversation day, we're talking about Michael Moss and engineering willfully addictive food. How do you reverse engineer that? Well, eat food that nobody's mucked around with. You know, if it hasn't been processed at all, you reverse engineer, I hope Michael will forgive me, the Moss effect, right? So then, you know, and, and it's absolutely true. And this has been studied uh, extensively by Barbara Rolls at Penn State, among others. If you eat foods close to nature, there are many properties of them, ranging from their volume and water content to their fiber content that minimizes the calories it takes to feel full. I've never counted calories. I've never worried about managing how much I eat. I've always focused on the high quality of the foods I eat and I eat until I'm full. And if, if you put the right kind of fuel in the tank, you know, essentially it fills the tank and you're done. Uh, so calories absolutely do count. I don't think you wanna spend your life counting them. I think there's a better way. Focus on the quality of the foods and among the many benefits of that, it will help you control the quantity of calories that flow into your tank.